Hi guys and happy Sunday. On today's video, well it's really nighttime. It's like really 9.30 at night. But I wanted to hop on real quick and tell you my experience with the Apple G, the Keratin Green Tea Reconstructorizer. And I want to tell you about how uh, my hair is doing since I shampooed it last week, which was seven days ago. And we got some things to talk about. But as I talk to you, I'm going to moisturize and seal my hair. So it's been seven days and my hair is really doing well. I wanted to reach out. <laughs> I wanted to retwist it like today. I was going to do a live stream tonight, but time got by and I just didn't feel like it. But I wanted to tell you guys this Apple G Keratin Green Tea Restructurizer is really good. So this is a protein treatment and one of my uh, viewers recommended this to me and I want to tell her thank you because I notice a difference in my hair. So many of you know that my hair tends to break in the crown right here and it started breaking. These are some um, new locks that I got. Uh, they're only a year old and I'm still having the same breakage area spot which is right here. So I said well how can I get a protein treatment in my hair without using a creamy type protein treatment that will you know uh, cause buildup into my locks. So we all know that products can get caught in our locks and cause buildup and have cookie stuff and you know make your locks look really thick and heavy and ugly. I, I'm trying to stay away from that as much as possible but eventually I'm gonna have to get a detox because over time products tend to lock in your hair anyway because our hair is matted and meshed together and that's what locks do. They stay you know meshed and so this is really perfect. Now I'm gonna give you my experience with it. Is my hair dry? Because protein treatments, even when I was a loose natural when I was using my protein treatments, it always made my hair feel hard and dry. But it's supposed to. It's supposed to feel hard. And I'm supposed to feel dry, but I hair dries out because anytime you have your hair out, and if you have natural, uh, kinky textured hair, if our hair is out hanging like this, it's gonna dry out. It does it naturally. You cannot stop it. But I do know from my experience it's been a loose natural, protein treatments dry out your hair because it makes your hair hard. So is my hair hard? Yes. It's doing it's doing its job. It's making my hair stronger and it makes my hair feel hard. So like when I go through it, I don't hear all that crackling and popping and stuff. And I don't really see any more breakage up here. The retwist. I need one. <laughs> um this is my first time I ever having locks, so I'm not really familiar with how things work, but it's still kind of like on the line of being a loose natural. My hair is starting to web in between sections. And webbing is just hair that is coming out of one lock and going into a neighboring lock. So I'm having these like these one strand little hairs going in between the locks. So I see the purpose of having a retwist because when your hair grows out or um, if you don't have a retwist, uh, your hair tends to go everywhere. It travels. So I've been making sure I go through my hair every day and keep my hair separated as much as possible because I don't want it to, I don't want my hair to combine so much, you know, from one lot to another. But Yanni, the loctologist, she said, you know, you're supposed to maintain your hair in between retwists. So my hair has not been twisted since May 12th and it's going on, it's, it's two months now. So if I do it this weekend, it'll be a little over two months. So I'm really loving the way my hair is looking. Guys, for some reason I feel like my locks are flattening out. So when I do my next retwist, I'm gonna have to gently go down the shaft of my locks a little bit to keep the, what's the, what they call the cylindrical, the cylindrical shape. Because they feel flat. They don't look flat. But when I rub my fingers through them, they um, seem like they're flattening out. So when I do my retwist, I'm going to have to, you know, go down gently, smooth, and keep them cylindrical. Okay, the air conditioning is coming back on. I have to keep them, like, in a nice shape. So, meantime, um, uh, tonight I did spray some more of this in my hair. I'm not going to put any more in my hair. Because... I think it's doing its job. My hair feels strong. It is very, very strong. And guys, since it's been humid outside, my locks are starting to swell up. Now, the other day I noticed my locks, they look kind of like smaller, but then when the humidity hit them, they said, 
they start swelling up. So what I'm going to do tonight is moisturize my hair with my Loxanity. This is the Loxanity Rose Water and Peppermint Daily Moisturizing Refreshing Spray. I'm just gonna mist my hair a little bit to add a little bit of moisture to my hair. So I know people have been saying, well, you know, locks, locks look dry. Locks feel dry. Well, when you leave your natural, your loose natural hair out, it's gonna look dry too. It's gonna feel dry. My hair is like that. It's just our texture. Is everybody hair like that? Probably not, because everybody got different heads, but don't get mad at your hair because it dries out. You can't keep your hair moisturized unless you always keep it braided or twisted and don't have it hitting the air. Am I okay with my hair being dry right now? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I think I need some more. I don't know that's what it does. I'm letting my hair do, do what it naturally does. But I don't want no flat locks, I'll tell you that. So, I should have retwisted my hair this weekend. I'm sorry, last weekend, but I didn't feel like that. After washing it and going and trying to do my hair, mm -mm. So, I really question myself, do I want my hair to get any longer than this once it locks? Because I still have the same mindset of, man, I just dread doing my hair. <sighs> and you know, once it gets longer, it's going to be more work. All right. It feels a little moisturized now. So, I do have my Dax hair grease. This is the Kokata. Uh dry scalp relief has my scalp been itching a little bit a little bit but I did grease my scalp earlier this week but I'm going to just grease my scalp a little bit more just a little bit so that I won't scratch because you guys know I will scratch a ball spot in my head and that's not good somebody had asked me on one of my videos my Napstar super hold um, super uh, twist retwist gel. She had asked me, she said, What does it smell like? I couldn't remember what it smelled like, and I never smelled it <laughs> until just like, like right now. It smells floral to me. I don't smell any, I don't smell any. Yeah, it's uh, for locks and laying down edges, so it smells floral. I might put some on my edges so they won't look so. Uh, obviously crazy and stuff oh I should have brushed my hair out I'll wait till it dries out because you're not supposed to brush wet hair my hair's a little misty from spraying my black sanity in it so let me let it dry out a little bit so yeah I see why the reason the retwist is so important uh, after you shampoo your hair when it's needed rather you don't just retwist your hair every time you shampoo your hair but I see that, you know, by me having my hair untwist, I haven't had a retwist in two months. It's imperative that I stay on top of that because my hair is starting to cling to each other at the base. And we don't want that. So I had to re kind of like wet my hair a little bit and um, see, I feel something right here. I had to dampen my hair a little bit last week and separate my hair. So... But, oh, guys, we got to talk about the edges again. So, my edges. We all know that they're all, you know, broke off and they're growing back in. I believe they may be a, they may be long enough for me to pull up in my locks. But we're going to see. Because, you know, you guys had a concern. I had a concern about my hair, uh, my new locks, once I put them in, being too thin. But I do know for a fact this is not going to fit in there. This big section. This is this is actual. That's an actual lock. But that's gonna be a baby lock. But my other locks, I believe they may get fit in my hair. We're gonna see. Cause you know when when Yanni the Loctologist, she talks about locks. How some people's hair, their hair grows away from the lock, and some people's hair grows with the lock. So my hair grows with the lock. I don't have short hair uh, at the base of my hair. All my hair is one length from the base on up whereas some people have short hair down here and then the long hair here and they have to take the short hair and wrap it around the base well this is short and I could probably do that technique to so, so that the hair can go 
inside these locks here. And that way I got to see the little afro no more. Guys, I've been playing around today in my jewelry, hair jewelry, and I can't wait to start wearing my jewelry. I think I can wear it now. Like, I play with a, I taught myself, well, I didn't teach myself, I went online to see how they put in a, a, a cowrie shell. And I learned real quick that the bigger the rubber band, the easier it is to get get your uh, cowrie bead, cowrie shell, I'm sorry, around the rubber band. Everybody on YouTube is using these little bitty black rubber bands. Stop it. Let me show you. All right, so everybody on YouTube uses little bitty black rubber bands. I'm like, how come you don't get the large size rubber bands to, to put through your cowrie shells? So when I used this, guys, and took my tweezers and pulled them through, pull this through it was so easy to do when I was trying to use my little bitty rubber band it that didn't work but the only thing is with the big, big rubber band you have to wrap around your lock way more many times because it is big so whenever I do decide to do that I'm gonna use my big black rubber bands mm -hmm. what the lady say on uh, the color purple you ain't nothing but a big fat heifer. Ha ha ha. I said, oh my goodness. No, she didn't. And then she got socked in the kisser for saying that. But, yeah guys, so everything is everything. I'm really feeling good. It's so late. I'm going to bed early tonight. I'm going to go to bed at 11.30 or 12 a.m. You're probably saying, well, Nancy, how is that early? Because I'll be up late. I'll be up late, girl. I'll be up late, girl. So I'm just trying to really just put this grease on my scalp only. And I like to do make, lock maintenance. Luckily for me, I do lock maintenance in between retwists. Oh, guys, let's talk about that for a minute. My beautician texted me a few days ago. She said, hey, um, she, she said, um, you can um, have some. No, she said. So the, in other words, she said, you can um, come in and um, you can make an appointment. And I said, no, not at this time. Thanks, though. Uh, do I plan on going back to her? Probably so. Am I planning on going to her real soon? Probably not. I might not even go back. I don't know. I like the way my hair looks when I, uh, when I do it. When I do it, so I, I can't wait till I get really good and retwisted it. And it just seems like, I don't know guys, it just seems like people are starting to price, price gouge us because they want to blame everything on COVID. And I know the inflation is real, but it just seems like, I don't know, it just seems like they just purposely raise the prices up. But they should, they should raise the prices up because the shippers and the handlers and the manufacturers, they're all going up. So you have to pay, in order for our stylists to make their money, they have to hike their prices up to, to recoup the money that they spent for that and then get a get a um, a kickback or whatever it's called uh you know overhead money but so if they are always out there spending all this money and they don't go up on the prices they ain't gonna make no money but if i learn myself girl ain't that what the old folks say if i learn myself how to do my hair do my hair, baby. I ain't gotta go to you. Like I've been not going to beauticians. I ain't. I, I stopped going to beauticians in 2012. I did let my stylist, my other stylist, uh, straighten my hair out, but she just straightened it out to damnation. She hated kinks. I can tell. She did not like kinky hair, and she lost a lot of business because when the natural hair movement started moving in the mid 2000s, baby. I know everybody was getting rid of them perms because she was a perm queen, baby. She can. She can do your hair straight. It was it'll be so pretty. So she, I think she kind of like got mad because everybody was going natural. I don't know. I might be exaggerating, girl. I can, I don't. I can't say that. I can say what I think, but I don't really know if that's actually true. But let me tell you about this one chick at my job. She was really really friendly towards me, and she and I would even talk. Now mind you, she, I, you know, you guys know I be I be wearing uh, bonnets on my head at work. So she's never seen my hair before, but she has locks in her hair, and her her locks are fully matured, and um, her hair her hair might be my length, fully locked or a little bit shorter. I think my hair is just a smidge longer than hers, but not much. 
but her hair is fully locked. It is so pretty. And I told her, she hair is so pretty. And she's like, thank you. So we would, you know, shoot the breeze and stuff. Baby, let me tell you. One day, well, one night rather, I saw her, we was talking and stuff. I took my bonnet off in the middle of us talking and I shook my head and let my hair flow. When I tell you that woman don't speak to me no more, I'm like, hey girl. And she, you can tell she's trying to avoid me and stuff. And I'm like, this is some strange people at my job. So I had to think back. Now what happened? Because when we last talked, everything was good. Now I'm not getting any eye contact. She's trying to avoid me. She's looking all down when I walk by and stuff. And I said, oh, it's my hair. Maybe she thought she was the one to get all the shine time. But when I took my hair down and I started doing like this, in slow motion, <laughs> She did not like that. That woman's not speaking to me. Um, but I don't care. So you know what I do now when I walk past her? Y'all, you already know. You already know what I do. <laughs> I mean, I make sure I take my bonnet off and shake my hair when I walk back. Girl, you know I'm eating it, honey. You know I'm eating it. So why I gotta be eating it though? So anyway, my hair is, feels like it's a little dry for me spraying it. I've been picking at a bump. I need to stop doing it. So you guys, I think I could probably move this hair into my locks, but we'll see. Guys, look, I got some more hair growing. That's why I want to make this, that's why I want to make individual locks. I don't really want to drag my short hair into my locks I have now because my hair is still growing in. So, if you guys can see, this is long. Not really long, but but look, I got some new hair right here. Then that's going to grow out. And then more no, new hair grow in and so forth and so on. Oh, guys, I don't know. But anyway, I'm all greased up. can't believe it y'all remember this is all just kind of like gone right here it was gone it never really looked like it because I had a it just got a lot of hair still got that little C right there just you know C C C C I can't really tell because I have a I have full hair but guys when I, my hair comes down to here oh well my mother said when I was a baby when I was born, I had hair all down here, all down my neck, like a little, you know how we'd be born like a little monkey, honey. We'd be like a little monkey. Do a light brush. Whew. I can see stuff flying out. Not much though, because I stay on it. I don't brush that often, like maybe, maybe once a week. I don't want nothing in my locks. And I did see something trapped in one of my locks, like some red string. I saw that in one of my videos today. I said, oh, this ring is still there. So about a year ago, I had put on a red knit um, hat. I don't know why I did that, but the knit got into my lock and I thought I got it all out and it's still in there. So, all right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to get it posted real quick. Maybe be posted by 11 o'clock, it's 10 o'clock now. And uh, if so, if you do like this video, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe if you like it. If you don't like it, just come back whenever you want to. You feel like listening to me, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. I gotta go get, get Nico because he called himself. Uh, that's my dog. He called himself trying to have have an attitude tonight because he didn't want to go potty. So you don't want to potty. You stay outside until you do. So he probably did. So I gotta go down there and get him and go to bed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. No, no, no.